What is going on, gangsters? Welcome back to Jake's Journey, mate. Operation Boxer. Today it's episode three, and we're going to be fitting some rear windows into the van. Sliding, don't think I've ever seen them before on a Boxer, Decato, or Relay. So let's send it, get it done. Cheers, coffee time. Back on my way downtown, looking down. I don't know the lyrics to be honest, mate. What I've got here is a load of windows. I don't really know which one's which, but I'm basically just trying to find out, and I think it might be the ones. So, 20 second kit, O penal. We haven't done 20 second kit in a while, so check before you wreck. Wooden handle, decent blade, come fairly sharp, and they're easy to sharpen. Uh, o penal, something, whatever they say that they are. But yeah, good little blade, fold away nicely. Great bit of kit, fold them out, lock off, great bit. There you go, it's like same kit, done. Not gonna lie to you, I haven't really got a stupid video about to fit these. And I don't think they've come with any instructions. There's the two windows, sliders, check before you wreck. And then we've got this little package here, that's come in the box as well. So there's like glass primer wipes, these little like cotton bud ball things, I don't really know what these are. Primer. That looks about right to me, donkey. Just gonna full on send it, mate. Grinding. I think people usually use jigsaws and that, but F it. I should put goggles on. Safety first. Need a little battery. Check that out. One down. One down, mate. Looks right, doesn't it? Looks decent. Let's do that side. Woo! We got window holes, baby. So here's what I'm doing now. I've gone from a cutting disc, which is thin, to uh, cut the straight lines in the corners out, to a basically a sanding disc. Uh, and I'm just getting all the burrs off around the outside of here now. And uh, yeah, it's coming together quite nicely. Once I've done that, get the seals on and all that sort of good stuff. Right, so I've just sanded all those off behind me. Uh, <laughs> smack that. I'm just gonna use some Amorite paint again. Just stop, well, I've still got these on. <laughs> okay, right, melon. Uh, I'm just gonna put some Amorite paint around the uh, bits and bobs on here. Just a little lift, take like 10 minutes to dry, and then I'll crack on with putting seals on. So before I paint, I'm just gonna go around the edges here, just with a little bit of fine sandpaper, just to sort of like give it something to a, uh, sort of catch to when I put the windows on. Do grab this rag now, give it all a good wipe down before I put any paint on it. And uh, yeah, then I'll put a bit of that hammerite on it. In a really good place. So with this part, what I had to do was take the black rubber seal and then fit it round the metal rim. I fit it on the outside rim. There's two layers of metal, the outer sheet of the van and then the inner one. You'll see this if you ever come to do it. I put it on the outside only. The rest of the windows that I did from here out, I put it over both. That is definitely the best way to do it. Put the rubber seal over both pieces of metal between the outer layer and the inner layer. This just makes it a lot more nicer fitting on from the inside when you look at it and uh, also just give you a waterproof seal onto all of the exposed metal. Once you've fitted this in place, you can cut it to size. You can use like these four clips or for some of these, I just use the grinder. You just cut it straight off because there's metal inside it. The only reason there's metal inside it is because the next stage after this is then to clamp around it and clamp it onto the window. For this, I just use some mole grips. Apply pressure around the rubber and it'll clamp onto the metal with no dramas. After this, you're good to go. Put the seal round uh, and then crimped it all in with the mole grips and that's good to go now. Same with this door as well. I've just cleaned round the glass, round the outside of the glass and uh, on the back doors of the van with these glass primer wipes. Uh, all it says then is just let it dry and then you move on to this primer which you've basically got these little swabs for. And you just cap the lid off that, dunk it and wipe round. I've basically worked out, I've got an inch to spare on these back bits. So start painting from an inch outward. 
You want to make sure that you do the outside rim of that as well before you paint it, uh, which now they're both painted, so they're looking a groovy. Basically, I'm going to wait for that to dry, paint it up, same as I've done with that one, and then we're going to bead and slot them in. I'm just giving it a final wipe down on the outside, and then we're going to bead it up with the old silicon. If you look at this here, look at the nozzle. See that? It's got a V. So you put it against, and this just gives it a bit of length away from the paint, away from the metal, and then it causes a V shape as you're going along. I didn't start filming because it was all a bit carnage, and I ended up with a, with a dodgy gun that was uh, doing the back of my hand in. I'm bruised now. I'm gonna have to uh, use my other hand for you know, the bits and bobs. We've run a bead round here now. All good. I'm gonna slam the window in. Just do it. Just talk it. <laughs> <laughs> Where your, thumb, where your thumb looks perfect to me, the top needs to come in towards you, Jake, and that's not that from where I'm looking. Yeah, let me just stand back here. Just, Jake, to you slightly at the top, which will bring this bottom yeah. over there. Yeah. Right, that's set in place now. It's all squidged out on the inside. I'm just going to get a bit of this black tape uh, and stick it on at the top and bottom just to stop it sliding about and moving around. I'll be all right, that will. Round two. It is looking really good. What, uh, hey, what, what are you doing in there, silly? What are you doing, hey? <laughs> <laughs> this is little Hetty. <laughs> Going round with the silicon gun is definitely something that you've got to be slow and methodical with. Don't let there be any gaps, and it just means that when you slot your window into place, that is all that is holding it there. And uh, it holds it well, so have trust in it. Make sure you tape it like I did afterwards, and you'll be in a good place. Yo, what's going on, gangsters? So that is those both fitted now. I put tape on the tops and the bottoms just to stop them from moving about as the, uh, as the ceiling cures, basically. But yeah, that's pretty much them. Next time, I'm gonna put in the side windows and bits and bobs like that. Uh, and I'll show you how to do that, but these ones are uh, done. I'll show you them once they're cured and how they're working and the fact that they're sliding. I've not seen that before in a build. That's what I meant about these because I've not seen people have these sliding windows before on the, uh, the rear of these ones. So I won't touch them yet because obviously they're curing, but they slide open and close. And basically the reasoning behind that is that in the summer, bed there, it means you've got the max air fan blowing out. All you need to do is crack one of these slightly and then it just brings a nice breeze across your body while you're in bed. Chilling, killing. So, absolutely love it. Buzzing to get the side windows in here and on the sliding door as well, which we'll do next episode. Gonna try and jazz it up a bit, cause uh, yeah, probably quite dry content to people that aren't bothered about how to fit windows in a van. But yeah, we'll get some adventures done soon. It's been a pleasure, gangsters. I will see you next week. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification if you wanna know as soon as I upload a video. And don't forget to follow Patreon if you want to. Go check it out, link below. Pledge. See you on the next one, guys. One love.